good day to all today we are going to see about cst element strain displacement matrix derivation for a first half okay so the strain displacement matrix also it, it can be called it as b matrix so the displacement function u of x comma y can be written as n1 0 n2 0 n3 0 0 n1 0 n2 0 n3 multiplied with displacement vector u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 so this same equation can be rewrite u equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 plus n3 u3 the normal strain of the component in terms of x direction ex equal to do u by do x so that means the displacement function has to be differentiated partially differentiated with respect to its x direction uh, x component so the u component can be written as ex equal to do n1 by do x into u1 likewise do n2 by do x into u2 plus do n3 by do x into u3 similarly for displacement component v small v that can be also rewritten as normal strain in terms of y direction ey equal to do n1 by do y into v1 plus do n2 by do y into v2 plus do n3 by do y into v3 okay now we can go with shear strain that is do u by do y plus do u by do v by do x can be added into one component that is produced in a shear effect after finding out these values so we can arrange all these values in terms of a matrix form ex ey and gamma xy normal strain in x and y direction and shear strain that is do n1 by do x 0 do n2 by do x 0 do n3 by do x 0 and 0 do n1 by do y 0 do n2 by do y 2 0 do n2 by n3 by do y so this can be rewritten like this okay so this is in the matrix form do n2 by do x do n3 by do y do n3 by do x so u1 v1 u2 v2 and u3 v3 now substitute all these values that we have already derived from your shape function equation you know that n1 equal to p1 plus q1 x plus r1 by 2a n2 equal to p2 plus q2 x plus r2 y divided by 2a n3 equal to p3 plus q3 x plus r3 y divided by 2a now differentiate the n1 with respect to x you will get q1 by 2a similarly for second q2 by 2a for third you will get q3 by 2a do n1 by do y r1 by 2a similarly r2 by 2a and similarly r3 by 2a okay now substitute all these values in the strain matrix ex ey and gamma xy is equal to
वन बै टू ए ऐम टेकिंग वन बै टू ए कामनली अवट सैड द रिमेनिंग टर्म्स क्यू वन जीरो क्यू टू जीरो क्यू थ्री जीरो आर वन जीरो आर टू जीरो आर थ्री आर वन क्यू वन आर टू क्यू टू अंड आर थ्री क्यू थ्री मल्टीप्ले वि यू वन वी वन यू टू वि टू प्लस यू थ्री वि थ्री So the above equation is in the form of small e equal to that is strain matrix is equal to b e equal to b into u. So b is your strain displacement matrix. Normally, this kind of questions may be asked in your exam for six mark or eight mark. So this is very important derivation in your third unit, like two D element. Okay, so you already know that Q1 equal to y2 minus y3, Q2 equal to y3 minus y1, Q3 equal to y1 minus y2, R1 equal to x3 minus x2, R2 equal to x1 minus x3, R3 equal to x2 minus x1. Now. Stress strain relationship or constitutive matrix that can be call it as D matrix. So I am writing a formula for finding out D matrix. Okay. So it can be classified into two category. One is plane stress and plane strain element. like we have already seen in the introduction about 2d element so now i am writing for plane stress element so the capital d that is uh, constitutive matrix or stress strain matrix d equal to e by 1 minus mu square 1 mu 0 mu 1 0 0 0 1 minus mu by 2 so this is matrix for plane stress and for plane strain if the same problem can be asked for plane strain, Use this formula: e divided by one plus mu into one minus two mu, one minus mu mu zero, mu one minus mu zero, zero zero one minus two mu divided by two, where e and mu is your material property, e is your Young's modulus, and mu is your Poisson's ratio. now we are going to derive stiffness matrix i am just going to write the stiffness matrix formula that is k so volume integral bt d b into dv that is the stiffness matrix for cst element if you integrate it we will get bt db into v that is volume of the element volume of the element can be calculated by using volume equal to by replacing v equal to a into t that is area of the element into thickness of the element so this is the formula for calculating the stiffness matrix so area of the triangle Is one by two, one x one y one, one x two y two, and one x three y three. This is called area of the triangle. And thickness T equal to thickness of the element. So B is your strain displacement matrix. For B T, you have to transpose the strain displacement matrix to get the value of B over uh, B transpose. Okay. D is your stress strain relationship matrix and T is your thickness of the element. Okay? We already know the formula. We have derived the just now we have derived right. So this is your formula for strain displacement matrix. You have to remember 
the formula for q1 q2 q3 and r1 r2 r3 again i am writing here q1 equal to y2 minus y3 and q2 equal to y3 minus y1 q3 equal to y1 minus y2 similarly for r1 x2 minus x3 minus x2 r2 x1 minus x3 r3 x2 minus x1 okay so d matrix for plain stress condition you know that choose for plain stress or plain strain element d matrix will change but the strain displacement matrix will never change for any type of element so suppose if the same problem has been asked with the temperature effect you have to find out the initial strain of the element that can be calculated by alpha into delta t alpha is your thermal expansion coefficient and delta t is your temperature difference final minus initial temperature in degree celsius you have to take it to find out the initial strain in the element e not equal to 1 plus mu into alpha into delta t alpha delta t and zero this is for plain stress condition okay similarly sigma equal to d into du minus e not so after the element is subjected to thermal expansion we can find out by using this formula sigma equal to d into du minus e not so the temperature force matrix can be calculated f equal to dt d into e not into a into t okay so thank you very much for your listening if you like it please share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel okay thank you very much